Hi everyone, I picked up this die from Tuesday morning. It's by Cutter B and it makes this really sweet little treat box right here. And the number is 2068959 and I'll put that information down below. So it gives instructions of how to put it together and again it makes this adorable treat box. And here's the one that I made which I had posted on my Instagram. So I add, um, this is using Maggie Holmes paper and I believe this is the Shine Collection. And then I added some ephemera and then a tag and then I use this um, jute twine that I get from Hobby Lobby and it makes a sweet little box. So I'm going to put one together. So you get the, you know, you have to die cut the two pieces and then um, it has the score lines where you have to fold those tabs and then you're just going to add your adhesive to those tabs. So it's a really quick assembly. Just fold along those lines there. So you fold that one down and then you fold this one back. That's the little handle. And then you're going to do the same to this piece. Just fold all those score lines. So Tuesday mornings um, has some really cute um, cutter bee dies. I was lucky enough to find several of the dies from that company. Actually, I don't think you fold that one. Okay, so now I'm going to put it together. So you're going to take this tab and adhere it like so. Okay, so let's add some adhesive and I'm just going to use this sticky thumb tape which I also pick up at Tuesday morning. Just add a little piece there. And just adhere it. And then you're going to take this tab right here and add your adhesive to that. And just fold it over like so. And then you're going to fold these two tabs down. Let's add the adhesive to that. And we want to add it to the other side. Okay, so these two tabs right here that go down, you add adhesive. And then you're going to place this piece. I don't think I was supposed to fold that down. I accidentally fold that down. So you're going to just do that. Really quick assembly. And then you're going to tuck this in. Like so. Okay. And just push that down inside. Okay. And then you're going to add your candy. And I love this candy. This is Lind Lindor candy. It was on sell it Tuesday morning so I picked a couple of bags and it's a perfect size you know to fit in this cute little box. You could probably fit two. Let's see if I can fit two in there. I think I can. Yeah I could fit two in there. Okay and then you're just gonna put these two together like so. And then place it through that slit. There's like a slit here. And you're going to tuck in that little tab. 
and makes a cute little favorite box. Just make sure these two handles are lined up together. Isn't that cute? Cute little favor. Okay, and then we're going to add some embellishments. So I have some of these Maggie Home ephemera pieces. This is um, from that butterfly die that I shared in my other video where I had made a bunch of them. So I used one of those. So let's add some tape to this. I'm just going to add it to the front. And then I got another heart here that I'm going to add. And I'll add a cute little butterfly. Like so, is that cute? And then I'm going to take some of this twine it through this little tag. And then we're just going to add it to the handle. And you got yourself a quick little favor. So I'm going to cut this. Let's just tie a bow. Like so. There you are. Got a cute little paper box. Isn't that cute? And then I just wanted to share also, which I had posted in my um, Instagram, I put um, several of my uh, Maggie Holmes ephemera in this Daiso bin. You can get this at Daiso. It's a dollar or $3, I believe, or $1.50, I can't remember, for this bin. And you could fit a lot in here. And yeah, that's so that's how you make this cute little favor. And again, I'll put the number in the description box down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.